Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Dragon Quest VIII. So we're not going to try out rank S yet. I doubt that I can uh, do it, and I do not actually know what the uh, enemies are. I think we want to wait until we can get a an actual team for our main fight that, that takes advantage of some of the uh, uh, tough enemies that we have. All right, in the meantime... We should really get some rest, because uh, Angelo's a little low on MP. All right, let's go ahead and use that and head to... Actually, you know what? Can we do the thing with Baccarat now? I think you have to defeat Dolmagus first, and obviously once I did that, I really didn't want to do anything story-wise until I got Jessica back in the uh, party. But we might be able to interact with uh, Cash and Carrie now. I'm pretty sure you need to wait until uh, Dolmagus is done, <clears throat> is defeated. But I could be wrong. But I also wanted to... I didn't want to over-level against Dolmagus. Okay. We got another Magma Staff. Okay, what do I want to make now? Hero Spear, Blessed Spear that restores some of its wielder's hit points when used in combat. Hmm. That's interesting. All right, lack of uh, any other ideas, I can make some things to sell. And I need to do th some more selling, I think. I should probably do that at some point. I guess this is where I'm supposed to say, Welcome to Baccarat, home of the world's biggest casino. But the casino's closed, and the whole town's up in arms over the murder of the owner... Golding. Hard to believe that Mr. Golding got off. Guess that explains why the casino's, casino's closed right now. Okay, I don't think they're saying anything different. I heard a posse headed out to avenge Golding's death, but it sounds like they ran into a dead end. They say the culprit's hiding behind some kind of magical aura in the dark ruins. He can't be touched while he's inside. Alright. That might indicate that we can't do anything else yet. Or we can't do anything with this yet. I was just trying to talk to that guy. Dang it. Might not be able to get in uh, at night. This is Cash and Carrie's mansion, but they won't see visitors this late in the evening. If you hear about the bodyguard positions, please come back again during the daytime. Curse you! It's like... I almost... I was almost able to do it, dang it. Uh, Alright, where is the end? Alright, the end is in here. Welcome to our inn, weary travelers. You must be exhausted at this late hour. That will be 16 gold coins. I hope that's acceptable. Stay overnight. Please enjoy your stay. Welcome to Dreamland, sleepyhead. I'm so grateful for these chances to talk to you. So I think that uh, you get the, like, you can either go back to the, uh, the spring or go to sleep to get these at various points in the game. I think they're basically the same. Like, this part would be different for the sleep thing. And I'm so happy Jessica's back with us. So am I. Even if Father and I are still cursed. We're working on it. We're working on it. Don't make me feel bad. Sometimes I wonder if we'll have to spend the rest of our lives like this. Uh, trust me, this is a video game. Y you're not going to. I'm sorry. It's just that I get so sad every time I think of Trodane covered in thorns. It'll be fixed in time. You know what's strange, though? That you weren't affected by the curse. Uh, protagonist privilege. 
But I shouldn't be surprised. I always knew there was something special about you. Don't forget to take me to the spring every now and then. I miss talking to you. I mean, you're talking to me right now, and it's not like I talk back. I guess I should go to the spring. Could do that for free healing. I trust you had a restful sleep. Please come again. I mean, I don't need free healing now, but... Of course, I can't save when I'm there. But we'll go ahead and see... What... See if she says anything different. There actually is one more uh, monster that I can go visit. Go fight. All drinks from the Mystical Spring. The party's HP and MP are fully restored. It's nice that everyone gets healed when I drink from the spring. They don't have to. It's, it's just like a spillover effect. Let Medea drink from the Mystical Spring? Sure. All that's my DS. Drink the spring water. All right, I was I was waiting for it to take effect. Because <laughs> I was looking at something else. I have some good news. Ooh, tell me. I've just turned 18. How about that? Well, I suppose we could get an oat cake for you. I had grass instead of birthday cake, though. Oh, I can't believe we didn't get you an oat cake. I remember the first time you came to the castle. We were just eight years old. It's hard to believe we've known each other for ten years now. You were an orphan, so you lived in the castle. And in what seemed like no time, you worked your way up to palace guard. Actually, I have a secret. I recommended you for the position to my father. Ah, manipulating things back then, I see. It was a way to bring you closer to me so we could spend more time together. And anyway, you deserved it. Aww. So, my brave palace guardsman, I'm counting on you to make sure I spend my next birthday as a human. I know you can do it. So I guess the dialogue isn't the same, and also, um... I guess we gotta speed up a little bit. <laughs> Nothing's gonna happen if you don't. Like if you like if you you just like go and rest at the inn for three hundred sixty-five times. <laughs> Nothing bad is gonna happen. They should put that in there. In though. All right. Uh, kind of looking at some of my. Um, trying to think about what I could make. There is something that I think that I could do. I might try that. If I have the items. But for now, let's get back to Baccarat. There was a comment about... About a bodyguard position. I mean, we could go, you know, chase after Sir Leopold, but he'll wait. He'll wait. Uh, hello? I wanted to talk to you. Welcome to Golden... I mean, Cash and Carrie's Mansion. Are you here about the bodyguard positions? Go right on inside. Sweet. Hello. Are you applying for the bodyguard positions, too? There's going to be a trial to determine whether the family fortune goes to Cash or Carry. They're inter interviewing people to protect each one of them along the way. I applied, but I didn't get accepted. They must be looking for someone pretty fearsome. No, well, that's going to be me. I mean, I'm a dragon after all. I, I can't go down that side. Dude.
I guess they weren't able to keep Golding's death a secret after all. Now it's all out in the open. Seems some jester by the name of Dolmagus killed Golding. What? You defeated Dolmagus? You? Who are you trying to kid? Golding was strong enough to strangle a troll with his bare hands, but Dolmagus made short work of him. Yeah, but he was only one guy. How could simple travelers like you defeat a monster like that? With teamwork, duh. Why, if it isn't the travelers from the Dark Ruins? I heard about Golding's death the minute I got back. Were you responsible for spreading the rumors? No. You weren't? Oh, I'm sorry. Forgive me for doubting you. You know how murderers usually try to hide their identities? Not this Dolmagus guy. He just waltzed right in and told Golding his name before he killed him. Like he didn't have a care in the world. Weird thing was, Dolmagus didn't get a scratch, but he grabbed his chest like he was in pain afterwards. It hit him so suddenly, I can't explain it. He seemed so different from the way he'd been when he first stormed in. I was scared before, but that was really creepy. Yeah, it was it was such a pity. Such a pity. Kind of sad that the uh, um, I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this before, but I'm I'm sad that the um, Dragon Quest three uh, mage and uh, sage character models aren't like characters around here? That's, that's fair. Ah, you must be here about the bodyguard positions. Thank you for coming. Our employers are currently seeking bodyguards to accompany them on a trial. It will determine which of them inherits the family fortune. Unfortunately, none of the applicants have measured up. You on the other... Oop, oops, sorry. I bumped my controller. You, on the other hand, seem to have just the qualities we're looking for. Darn right I do. Oh, it's you, the adventurers from the Dark Ruins. Are you applying to be bodyguards, too? That's great. With your skills, I'm sure you'll get the your pick of working for cash or carry. Can I work for both of them? Yeah, that doesn't help me any. There's a comfy-looking couch. Hey, I remember you. You're the ones who managed to break through the aura in the Dark Ruins. Thank you. Thanks to you, we were finally able to get inside. Unfortunately, the place was empty. And there I was expecting to come face to face with Dolmagus. You wouldn't happen to have defeated him by any chance. Yup. What? You did? That's absolutely incredible. You must really be something else. I mean, at least we got these guys to, uh, vouch for us, right? Nothing there. What do we have back here? I want goodies. Old finds a vial of magic water and puts it in the bag. One single goodie. Boy, you smell of it. There's six treasures somewhere out here, Gov. All right, six more treasures. Hello. Knock, knock. cannot stand you. We're both orphans, remember? Dad took us in when we were still babies. <laughs> that means we don't know who's actually older. For all you know, I could be your older sister. I guess my vote. Yeah, and for all I know, maybe you're actually a boy. <sighs> Whatever, Carrie. Why don't you just chill out? I'm giving you an equal chance. Like, how many times do we have to go over this? We do the contest. The winner inherits the Golden family's fortune. End of story. Wait, don't tell me. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. You're Fine. too scared to go to the dragon graveyard, even with your bodyguards. I don't like you. Don't be more of a jerk than usual, Cash. Sorry to interrupt. Huh? Uh, Cash, we have guests. They could be applying for the bodyguard position. I totally am. 
Oh, hello there. Uh, please forgive our manners. Welcome no. to the Golden Mansion. So what's the pay? Also, I'm not going to talk to you yet. That is a great picture there. Oh, fine, be that way. Don't let me do it. All right. Ooh, barrels. Smashy, smashy. All finds a clump of rennet powder and puts it in the bag. I spilt the beans about Golding being dead to one of my friends, and now the whole town's up in arms. Oh, so it was her. That's okay. We won't tell. All finds a bottle of fresh milk and puts it in the bag. Mm -mm. So glad it's fresh. Also, okay, that ladder doesn't actually go anywhere. Don't mind me. I'll, I'll talk to you in a moment. Got doors to go through. Any garters? I'll find a gold ring and puts it in the bag. To smash the the urns up there, dang it. Game won't let me. How dare you? It's an interesting mask there. Is this a guest room? Oh, finds a mini metal and puts it in the bag. I guess this is a guest room. Maybe a uh, bodyguard room. Better. I don't know. Oh, it's adorable! I love that. It's so cute. Any garters? Oh, finds a spangled dress and puts it in the bag. Ooh, that could be nice. So I'm assuming that this is Carrie's bedroom. Where did Mr. Golding sleep? Because this would probably be Cash's now. Maybe maybe this is where Golding sleep, slept. And they've already, like, rearranged everything. I don't know. Well, let's go check that, uh, that spangled dress. A chic dress worn by fashionable women about town. 46 defense. It is better. Jessica takes the spangled dress out of the bag. Equip this now? Yep. Jessica equips a spangled dress. Jessica puts a magic vestment in the bag. Okay. I guess we'll talk to you now. Hey, great. We've been looking for a few good men and women. What? Why? You don't know what I'm talking about? Then listen up and hear me and my brother... What my... What me and my brother have to say. All right. Take a seat and I'll tell you the scoop, okay? Let me explain the situation. Wow, Yangus, not letting Jessica sit down? Terrible. Our foster father has passed away. Now, we're in the middle of deciding which of us will take control of his fortune. I vote Carrie. Do I get a vote? Because I vote Carrie. Hmm, maybe arguing is a better term. My sister and I are like oil and water. We never agree on anything. That's why we've decided to have a trial. A contest, basically. Yeah, I kind of gathered that by trial. I figured you didn't mean, like, a legal trial. Whoever completes it and returns to town first will be declared the winner! The trial itself is a golden family tradition. It's like a test of a potential heir's worthiness. So, but shouldn't you guys be doing that on your own? All one has to do is enter the dragon graveyard and obtain the mark of the family on their hands. Sounds easy, right? Sure, totally easy. Nah, the dragon graveyard is full of monsters. Of course we it would even be. even die, you know? <gasps> so, we've agreed to hire bodyguards to protect us during the competition. The only thing is, we haven't been able to find bodyguards of the right caliber. Well, I'm here now. But I've got a good feeling about you, travelers. 
What do you say, little sister? I hate to say it, but I agree. Wow, this is a first. See, it could be the start of something important. Well, there you have it. Okay, then. If we're all in agreement, why don't you go ahead and choose which of our backs you'd like to cover? Oh, I don't even need to think about that. The loser will use bodyguards picked from the mansion staff. Won't you, Carrie? Wow. Whatever. You're going down either way, Cash. Sure, sister. Oh, and one more thing. You'll be compensated regardless of who wins. I so, like the sound of that. Don't worry about pay. I do want money. Okay, so who do we pick? Who do we pick? I don't know about you, but the uh, for me, the choice is pretty easy. She's got green hair. You'll have a lot more fun with me than my brother. I can tell you that. So pick me. So you'll act as my bodyguards in the dragon graveyard. Yep. Coolness, thank you. We're going to leave at first light tomorrow. I don't want to, you oversleeping, so you're going to crash here at the mansion tonight, okay? Okie dokie. Fair enough. I'll take some of our men as bodyguards. And before I forget... You rang? Would you be so kind as to prepare a nice dinner for our guests tonight? I do like a nice dinner. Where will we eat it? We should do our best to put them on equal footing with the guards. Don't you think? You're gonna... You're gonna slip us a little, little something to put us to sleep, aren't you? Do you always have to be so patronizing, Cash? But you won't hear me complaining about having a nice dinner. So that's also one of the reasons why uh, uh, I chose Carrie instead. I don't like cash that much. Diamond, fastest scamper, and now this. We're on a banquet roll. <laughs> King Trode's going to miss out again, though. Well, we don't know won't hurt him. <laughs> Just be. Maybe we should at least send uh, send a. Uh, um, a runner out to let him know that, that we're going to be sleeping in town tonight? I don't know. That evening, the party eat their fill of the delicious banquet laid out for them and then fall into a deep, contented sleep. Yay, free healing. Wake up! Wake up! I'm sorry, you need to wake me up properly, and that is by shouting, Wakey, wakey, sleepyhead! Hello! Wake up! Up! Come on! Move, you lazy bum! It's only 10 a.m. Come on, give me a break. What are you doing? The sun's already up. Cash is on his way to the cave. Can he zoom, though? I cannot believe this! Help me wake everyone up right now! <laughs> The way he sleeps is definitely my favorite. Alright, Angelo, that's a... Uh, you, you, you need a body pillow, clearly. Yep, sleeping like a daint, dainty lady. Come on! Get up! Boy, I wonder if something got slipped into our food. <laughs> so quick, someone cast Tingle. I've decided to let it go this time because I overslept too. We have my jerk of a brother to thank for that. I got the maid to confess that she put sleeping powder in our food last night at Cash's order. Look, there isn't any time to discuss it now. We can still catch up with him. Come on, let's go. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes. Uh, let me sleep a little longer. <laughs> I know you need to get yourselves ready, but I hate waiting around. Okay. It's fine. So, I'm going on ahead. Meet me at the entrance to the Dragon Graveyard. Boy, it's a good thing that I can zoom there. And don't keep me waiting. 
Like I said, I can zoom there. I'm pretty sure I could get there before you. Not that the game will let me. We, we did already check this. All right, well, let's go ahead and uh, make our way down there. I'm so, so sorry. I know what I did was wrong. But Cash forced me to put sleeping powder in the food. Please, please don't tell anyone. If Cash founds out I talk to you, he'll have my head on a platter. Well, he won't find out from us. Ding! Yep, took those guys. Alright, can I, can I get out the door now? Thank you. What are you doing just hanging around here? Aren't you supposed to be Carrie's bodyguards? Cash has already set out for the Dragon Graveyard with his party. It's in the desert to the south. I know that. Alright, I can uh, get to the alchemy pot. Alright, make another set of bunny ears. Just because that's going to be worth more than uh, those two items separately. Uh, what else? What else do I want to make? Um, I do not have a steel shield. I do have a steel shield. What do I have that Yangus can wear, can use, and is it going to... Whoop. Let's not do that. Okay, shield-wise, also. Nope, oh, don't equip it. All right, shield-wise, can you use a white shield? No. Can't use a Templar shield. You could use a bronze shield, I'm sure. Right, no. Okay, it's not great, but... I think this next shield that I'm going to make is something he can use, but I'm not positive. If not, I can use it. Okay, steel shield, and we have two uh, dragon scales. There we go. All right. So that'll that'll be working away for a little bit. We want to explore the desert a bit because there are going to be some more enemies there. Before we go down there, I think that I will zip on over to the dark island, the uh, the dark ruins island, because there is some stuff there. Okay. Interestingly enough, the dark robe is not something that Jessica can wear. That is that is only for Yangus. Okay. All right. It's fine. All right, so when we come back next time, uh, we are going to make our way to the Dark Ruins real fast to uh, fight a uh, an infamous monster, and then we'll head down to the desert. See you next time, everyone.